Hey YouTube friends and family, just Christina here. I've taken you the other way on Crescent Rim and done sky watches over the park, but today instead of going left, I thought we'd go right and we'd come over here to the train depot. So this overlooks Boise again and you can see Table Rock up there. Uh, there's a cross on the hill on the flat part of Table Rock. You can't see it, it's still smoky and hazy, but dare I say it's better today? It was really bad this morning and it's cleared out a little bit, but every morning, there's downtown Boise. Now, every morning that this happens, it's really, really bad. And then in the afternoon it clears out, but by night it builds up again. And I'm sure that has something to do with the jet stream. Look, they put this roundabout in right here. Boise is really not big enough to need the few roundabouts that have just gone in, but I think it's funny anyway. So we're at the train depot. This, I believe, was established in 1882. Let's go look in the windows, because I don't think it's open right now. There's a City of Boise employee we could ask. Oh, that's the Humane Society. Wrong department, I suppose, right? So let's park here, because this is a really cool place and you can see Capitol Boulevard right there. You cannot see, well I guess you can see the steps of the State House. If I can get it to focus. Okay, we have, I'll guide you here. Where are we? All right. Bank building, bank building, bank building. <laughs> All the skyscrapers are bank buildings. And then right down Capitol Boulevard, right to the center right there, that's the state house, that's the opening to it, and that is State Street. Uh, more than a clever name, right? Let's get out. Okay, the train depot has this beautiful botanical garden, and we'll walk that way in a minute. Right now, I'd like to show you the awesome infrastructure of the Boise Depot. You can go all the way to the top and ring the bell in the tower uh, when they're open, of course. So this was an original train platform where passenger trains came in and out of Boise. And the train tracks that run at the adjacent field behind my property, um, it's a half an acre behind my property, but it's these same tracks. So let's go for a little walk. And you can see the waiting areas in the main lobby. Now, one really, really cool thing, like that says employees timetable. So that's the old register of the people that worked here. You can still see the original train schedules from the 1880s, and it has destination times, locations, and costs, which is pretty cool because I think back then it was some just amazing amount from Boise to, say, Chicago for $1.35, which is unheard of today in today's inflation. Hey, let's go down here. And once upon a time, when fireworks still happened, you could sit here and watch them go off in the park. So it's also another place where the community can come together, and obviously we know why that's not happening right now. Do you guys see all that smoke? And like I said, it's better right now. So let's go for a little walk. Fish are jumping. I don't know that I'd catch and eat a koi in a koi pond. Let's cut through the grass here. But they're fun to watch anyway. There's a waterfall over there. We're going to go that way. Watch out for the little goose poops. Here's the lower level of the pond system. 
down here. And it's such a stunning sight coming up Capitol Boulevard up to Vista and seeing all of this here. It's maintained very, very well. Little footbridge. Little river path. And I don't do many community videos, but this is one place I thought just sharing the beauty of might be a nice way to hit the reset button. Just go on a little nature walk today, hang out with some ducks. If I was a duck, this is where I'd live. Right here, lap of luxury, lap of duxury. I used to chase Maya around here when she was little. And there's a spot up here in the trees where the kids like to hide. It's like a little fort. And I would always chase her back here and she would just giggle. But there's steps there where you can actually go down on the rocks. It's very user friendly here. There's not many restrictions, just stay out of the water. I mean, and that's up to you. I wouldn't go in the water, but. I don't necessarily think you'll get kicked out, but you might go home with a, a bonus infection or something, you know? Keep your mouth closed anyway. All right, this is the place where the kids like to go in there. And when the waterfall is on and the lights are on at night, it's really, really pretty. You can see some smart person decided to spray paint it right there. It's just stupid. It doesn't add to the beauty of the location at all. And you can see why a lot of people have their weddings here too. It's just really, really pretty. And the grass you can see it goes all the way over there so it's a lot of acreage it's a lot of property here and like much of the land in Boise like this that's part of the park systems or you know even part of the army area where they have the hospitals over in the north end if you go look back at the old land deeds, those were all executive order land grabs. So this technically, there's the spot Maya would go. This technically is the land that belongs to the people. That little cove right in there, kids love it. Down in there, we've been down there. Down in there. And then we come back up to the top right here. So I hope you enjoyed this little train depot tour. Thank you for joining me and I hope we can get back here when they're open. Okay, we just walked around to the left side here and I wanted to show you the platform where people would actually go and meet and wait for their trains. And this is pretty cool because if you can imagine 150 years ago, 148, or excuse me, 38? 40, 1882, let's do some math really quick. 1882 would be 38 years, 138 years ago. And they would stand behind that white line and wait for the train to come in at whatever appropriate meeting point they were supposed to be loading, boarding and unboarding. So pretty cool. Pretty cool history to have here that's maintained and so beautiful, but a place where we can still come together. And they still use this today. Um, obviously not for passenger trains, but trains use that track for sure. Okay, thanks for joining me, friends. Have a great day. Just Christina signing out.